Hey, hey, happy uh, Sunday. Dude, I am, I am dragging today. Last night, uh, me and the family, we went to Gettysburg and we did this like ghost hunting tour thing. By the time we got home, it was like 1.30 in the morning. Smoked me. I was gonna get up early today and go do the uh, gravel group ride with some guys that I ride with but I ended up not doing that. I ended up sleeping in. And then I was gonna ride outside today, but it's been kind of just rainy. Gonna be Zwifting today. Uh, this is my other bike, the Zero, uh, Willier, Villier, whatever you wanna say it. Um, something else that's cool is I'm going to be using my VeloFit. If you haven't seen my VeloFit, my VeloFit is a super cool website that you can go to for AI bike fitting. Basically, you take a video of yourself riding your bike, and then that 10, 15 second clip, you upload it to the site, it does all its AI data stuff on it. Then it takes your video and it gives you um, metrics on what you should change. You know, if you should raise or lower your saddle, if you should fore apt your saddle, if with building up this bike fresh, and this is my first ride, I'm going to ride it today on the trainer. I'm also gonna take some video while I'm riding it and make adjustments as needed. Um, it should be dialed into what my other bike is. I did the same measurements, everything, but it's always good to double check and it's simple and easy, so. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Dude, I so tired. Oh, it's awful. Anyways, back on the grind. Another vlog coming at you this week. Uh, I think what I want to do this week is I want to talk about how I got on a professional cycling team. It's a story I haven't really shared with people. I mean, people locally who know who I am they uh they realized that how i got on a team and uh yeah so let's take that journey let's talk about how i landed a spot on skyline so what happened was uh i had decided to well i didn't decide me and my wife decided to move from california out to the east coast uh we moved here uh, was it the end of 2020 or uh start of 2021 no end of 2020 yeah anyways we move here and uh, I'm here September, October-ish, and I think it's the end of September. There's a local crit down in Virginia. So I decided to go down there, do this crit last minute. I'm totally out of shape, totally out of shape. So I go down, do this crit, I meet Wolfgang. Wolfgang is on Team Skyline. So I meet Wolfgang Brandel, uh, chatted up with him a little bit, that's it. A week goes by and Wolfgang hits me up on Instagram. Now, when he hits me up on Instagram, he goes, hey, there's this race in uh, North Carolina. You should go with me and do it. And I was like, dude, I don't know who you are. Met you once. Don't know if I wanna do that. Long story short, uh, <laughs> I say no, I can't go. After that, what happens is uh, another week goes by and he hits me up again and he goes, hey, there's a stage race down in Florida. You wanna go? Let's go. And I was like, you know what? Okay, this guy's asking me to join him to go racing, travel a little bit. You know, I'm wanting to go professional, so why not go give it a shot, see what happens. So I go, so I travel down to Florida. Uh, I'm not in the best shape at all, at all. I had a really good year on ride bikes. I had an amazing year. I had lots of, uh, I had, I think I had one win that year, but I had a lot of seconds and thirds and road races and podiums. Anyways, so uh, yeah, so I go down Wolfgang, Florida, random stage race. Never met this guy before, except for that crit. He's on Team Skyline, so we race. 
So at this race, uh, I decide that I'm just gonna be a team player. I'm just gonna help him try to do well. That's what I did. Day one, uh, I got him to the front, kind of put him in a good position for the field sprint. He won the field sprint. Uh, day two, I did an early move to kind of shut things down and he ended up doing well. And I think overall, I think he was fourth or fifth uh, overall the whole stage race. Anyways, after that is when he started talking to me about potentially joining Skyline. And I was like, huh, yeah, let's see about that. So long story short, that's how I actually got a ride with Skyline. That's how uh, I got roped in. He, uh, he later told me, he was like, yeah, I wanted to travel with you just to make sure like you weren't an idiot and you weren't fun to hang out with, but you're a nice guy, you're a team player, you're obviously strong, you have good results. I'm gonna pitch it to you management, Michael Tachi, our director, and see what he has to say. So I meet with Tachi, talk with Tachi, super cool guy, uh, says, hey, here's a contract, you know, give you a bike, kits, travel, here we go. Let's go race. That year sucked. All right. It was my first year as a professional cyclist. I think one of the big things was you go into this assuming, oh, it's going to be like Ineos. It's going to be like world tour stuff. No, I mean, you go to these races with continental teams and you learn that, I mean, they all got, they all travel around in vans. Uh, for us, the travel wasn't too bad, but yeah, you got to rent vans, rent cars everywhere you go in Europe, unless you have a, a base in Europe. Um, that part wasn't bad. The bad part was I was, I didn't have the best off season in 2021 into 2022. Um, came into it, I was fit, I was fast, but man, I was not UCI Continental fast that year. It was actually my worst year on the bike uh by far the year before i was actually stronger numbers were better so that was uh that was very interesting it was a rough year just for me just because it was like hey i'm finally a professional and i did not have good results i actually really didn't have any results it was hard and it was frustrating but it was like okay we learned a lot from that so uh i made a coach change in midway through the year last year was a lot better uh, had, or I guess it was technically this year. This year was a lot better, had more results, um, especially in some bigger races. And then now we're prepping for next year. All right, out on the bike. Who it is? It's cold today. Chilly, chilly, chilly. It's insane. Two days ago, three days ago, not two days ago, it was 75 degrees. Today, it's like 48 degrees. Huge swing, brr. Today's workout calls for about two, two and a half hours with on bike strength work at tempo. So I'll be doing low cadence work, doing like 60 to 70, RPM and I'll be in the tempo zone for those. Uh, kind of doing like eight minutes on and six minutes on and four minutes on anyways. But we're also, I'm also doing them at the end of my ride. So not only is it on bike strength work, it's also fatigue resistant work being at the end of the ride. So I'll ride around like I am right now, about an hour and 20 minutes, zone two. And then the last hour, I'll do that work. It's pretty much it for today. So let's, uh, I'll show you some of the numbers from that workout.
Oh my gosh. It is so cold and windy today. Uh, it's like three, three Celsius. I think that's what it is. Uh, it's about 30, oh, what is that? 36, 38 degrees Fahrenheit. Cold day and it's windy. So I was gonna Zwift, but I was like, it's kind of sunny though. And we're all bundled up. So I guess we'll just get out and get it done. Uh, literally three minutes into my ride, I hit something on my back tire and it slices my sidewall and blows it. And it's completely flat. And it's super, super windy out. Like it's awful. It's awful how windy it is. And of course it makes it feel like it's 32 degrees. So yeah, I think, uh, I think since I don't have a spare tire to throw on right now and a tube won't hold it, I'm just gonna have to just lift. Oh, that's right, I'm filming. Weird. Anyways, uh, to yesterday. I feel like this video has not been that good so far. It's off to a shaky start. Uh, but you know what? It really doesn't matter. I'm making content. I'm having fun. At the end of the day, that's what matters. And I'm trying to show you a bit about what's going on with my life. So today's another ride. Uh, I built up, as you saw earlier, my uh, Villiers Zero. Um, I finally got that settled and ready to go. So uh, since I got a cut on the sidewall of my tire yesterday on my Falante, I had to order a new tire to put on that because the tube would have just gone straight through the sidewall. So today I'm gonna ride the Zero uh, going outside again. As you can see, this is my uh, thermal jersey by Santini. I like it. The one jersey that I like the most actually, it's not even a jersey, it's more of a jacket or a gilet if you want to call it that. Uh, actually, it is a gilet. I love this one. This one's sick. It's, um, it's not very breathable, but it's windproof like to the core um, and it's super nice. Cool thing too is this back pocket has, it's reversible. So when you would reverse it like that, you can pack the whole jacket into one pocket. So then your jacket's like, you know, imagine it just all within that pocket, really small, and you can like store it super easily. But that's one thing I like about it. It's got a nice little longer flap on it. And it's got three pockets in the back. So today's chilly again. Man, this cold weather front like just moved in super quick. Uh, and it got cold. One thing I think is super important is understanding how to layer your your jerseys and whatnot for cold weather. Oh, burr. Cold, cold, cold. Anyways, layering is super important on these types of rides. It can be easy to like <sighs> overdress. Then you start sweating so bad. And then if you were to like stop or something, you cool off, that sweat gets super cold. Then you're just miserable the rest of your ride. So today I'm wearing tights and then I am wearing a short sleeve, medium base layer. It's not like crazy thick. I'm wearing my thermal jersey which is perfect if it's 50 degrees or warmer. And then on top of that, I have this windproof gilet on. So the one thing is when I climb, I try to unzip the outer layer. Sometimes I unzip the inner layer too, just to let that heat escape. Cause it stays trapped while climbing. I sweat a ton. Then when I hit the downhill, 
start to freeze. So that's the big key is dressing just warm enough to like, when you start your first five, 10 minutes, you're like, ooh, it's still chilly, but then you get warm. And learning to ventilate on climbs so you don't over sweat is also huge. Start climbing in. At least today's workout, I'm doing five minute cadence work. I don't know if you noticed the theme of this week and base training right now is cadence work. So Tuesday, I did low cadence, like we saw. Now today, I'm doing high cadence. So I'm doing five minute bouts at high zone two, low zone three, at like 100 RPM. And then the rest of the time, I'm just riding like low, just slightly mid zone two at whatever cadence feels good. So I go five minutes on, 10 minutes off. I'm doing that for almost two hours. Then the final hour, I'm just riding endurance. No more cadence work. So that's today's workout. Uh, I actually like it. It's fun. Keeps you on the pedals. Keeps you focusing on like good smooth pedal stroke. All good stuff. All right. Ride done. That was fun. Oh my gosh. Dude, it was super chilly. It's, I know I keep saying like, oh, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. Well, you know, last week or even just the weekend, it was 75 degrees. Right now it's, gosh, it's awful is what it is. It's, I was thinking it was like 48 degrees today, 40, no, it was like 46 degrees. That's a huge swing. It's like from here to like here, <laughs> huge swing. Uh, but yeah, hey, it's been a good week so far. Um, I do want to share really quick before I let this go. Uh, let's talk about my fitness and just kind of the hours I've been doing. So currently, as of today, um, you're seeing this the day after I finished, but today's Thursday. So as of Thursday, my fitness, if you have training peaks or even Strava and you follow like your fitness and all that stuff, um, my CTL is another word that it's it's called often, but my fitness right now is about 88. And then my fatigue or my form is, my form is like negative 12. So I'm still like relatively fresh. And man, do I feel that on the bike. I'm so fresh on the bike. But to give you another idea, um, I believe the, the last seven days uh, so far, I've only done about 14 and a half hours and then about 744 TSS for those seven days. So basically since the last vlog you saw to this one, I've done about 14 and a half hours. Each week it's slowly ticking up. So uh, this week I'm actually including Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, I'm on track for 16 hours this week, um, the following week next week, which uh, you guys will see, I will be doing 17 and a half hours that week. And then, uh, yeah, things will keep going up. I believe by the end of this weekend, I'll still be around 88, maybe even 89 um, on my fitness because tomorrow's a rest day. So, but yeah, uh, so far Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, basically two and a half hours, three hours, three hours. So going good, things are going good. Um, my next video, I want to give you guys <clears throat> an update on where I'm at with my weight, um, a little bit more in depth on where I'm going with the next couple weeks of my training, things like that. So anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys next week.